mubyeyi urifuza guteganyiriza umwana wawe ejo heza kana mu mashuri ya Apejerwa ariyo Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi hamwe na Emero Intwari muri Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi tubafitiye amashama kurikira Cardinal Art cyangwa se bijyanye n'ubutetsi ari level 1 level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 food and beverage services tubafitiye level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 tubafitiye kandi accounting cyangwa se ibarura mari level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 tubafitiye nubukanishi bwa modoka mu byiciro bikurikira auto engine technology level 3 auto transmission and control system technology level 4 automobile transmission and control system technology level 5 tubafitiye nubwubatsi mason level ya gatatu level ya kane ndetse na level ya gatatu tubafitiye tourism ubukera rugendo level ya gatatu iya kane ndetse ni ya gatatu turabibutsa ko tubafitiye n'ikiciro rusange tukome tukome Naho muri Emero Intwari tubafitiye amashami y'umwaka umwe akurikira Automotive Technology ubukanishi bwa mamodoka level ya mbere hair dressing ubwiza no gutunganya umusatsi level ya mbere tailoring ubudozi level ya mbere masonry ubwubatsi level ya mbere muri aya mashuri yombi tubafitiye bari mu binzobere harimo nabaturuka hanze y'igihugu tubafitiye kandi n'amacumbi y'abakobwa ndetse naya bahungu abanyeshuri bacu bakora ingendo shuri mu gihugu ndetse no hanze ya tubaho umwanya wo kwimenyereza umwuga mu bigo bijyanye ibyo biga dukorera kandi graduation abanyeshuri basoje amasomo yabo aya mashuri aherere mu mujyi wa Ruhango hafi ya gare ko bindi bisobanuro ngando hamagara kuri 0788336219 cyangwa se 0722336618 nana duhamagara kandi kuri 0788336319 cyangwa se 0782022825 Nana dusura kuri website y'ishuri www.apejerwa.ac.rw umuri mukozwe neza utuma batugirira ikizere Hello student once again uh, my name is Jean Damuragengimana from Disedo Ruhango and Emero in Hwativeti School I'm one of trainer in automotive transmission and control system so as you know we are still running our module, which is called, module name it is, Perform Pneumatic System Maintenance. As a student from level five, I, I know that you will understand what is a pneumatic system, what is a maintenance. So we are still learning how a pneumatic system is, is working, especially on commercial vehicles, meaning us, we are still learning or we're still dealing on how a brake system on those heavy vehicles, are, or heavy vehicles, means commercial vehicles, is it, is it working? So, in the previous session, you remember that I have told about the basic principles of, basic principles of pneumatic system. We have seen, uh, we have seen uh, an energy supply, meaning that in the braking system of those commercial vehicles, we need uh, energy supply means that where the energy or where the compressed the air will come from means that the storage, the producer means that you have seen we have air compressor which will help us to generate the compressed the air in pneumatic system. I have told you about uh, a control means that that compressed the air it will need to be controlled. We have seen that we controlled by service brake valve during service brake system means that in the, in the vehicle and parking brake and parking brake valve, yes. So after control, we will need a transmission. You remember, we need a transmission means the way, the path, the path does the compress the air will pass through for achieving on the, on the brake. All means for braking the vehicle, we need the, the way, the circuit. Transmission, we have seen, we have a single circuit, you have a dual circuit, you know. So, uh, we will need a brake. We need a brake. A brake is the way the action will occur, meaning that we are the, we will be braked, meaning that we have inner supply, the source of energy. We have a control, service brake system, and the parking brake system, or parking brake valve and the service brake valve. You have a transmission, the way the compressed air will pass through, and why a brake? Where the action will be done from the front axle, so as the, the Leo, the Leo axle. I think that you will remember that. Also, we have seen, we have talked about the classification. You remember, 
We have talked about the classification of break, the of break system. We have seen uh, we, we have seen that we classify the break system according to the purpose. If you say the classification of a break system according to the purpose, I've told you that it is where you have a service break system, parking break system, and, so, and secondary break and secondary break system. So if you say service break system, remember that it is the is a brake system which help to reduce the speed of the vehicle, to keep the speed of the vehicle constant, to stop the vehicle, but whenever the driver is present in the vehicle, meaning that when the vehicle it is on a downhill gradient, the, ve the driver will be able to reduce the speed of the vehicle, keep the speed constant, stop the vehicle, but the, ve the driver is inside of the vehicle. So. If you say parking brake system, you remember that it is uh, to, to, spot the, to, to stop the vehicle on the upward gradient, but the driver is not in the vehicle, meaning that to keep the vehicle st stationary, but without the driver inside of the, the vehicle. So the secondary brake system, you remember that we say secondary brake system, when there is a fail, this is a fail of service brake system, and parking brake system act as, act as, uh, service brake system. I think that we remember that. So we have seen that uh, also uh, the classification of a brake system according to the uh, energy used. You remember, if you say classification of brake system according to the energy used, we remember that we have muscle power, meaning that mechanical brake system where the muscle, the power of the drive will act on it, the brake pedal in order to brake it, in order to brake the vehicle. You remember. Uh, we have power assisted, where the driver forces will be boosted with hydraulic energy, so as pneumatic energy, in order to help him to, to break, in order to, break, to help him to break the vehicle. You remember also. We have also a power brake system. If you say power brake system, meaning that we have uh, the hydraulic energy, so as pneumatic energy, the driver which will break the vehicle, but the driver is as Actuator, it is therefore command to give the command of those energy, either hydraulic energy or pneumatic energy for braking the vehicle. So, it means that we have hydraulic power assisted brake system and pneumatic assisted power brake system. In pneumatic assisted power brake system, I have told you about the, vac the vacuum brake system and the compressed air brake system. If I say vacuum, uh, vacuum brake system, I have told you about. Uh, how it will be done on a spark ignition engine, so as on uh, diesel engine, where in a spark ignition engine it will be done, it will, it will have a connection on the intake manifold of the engine, where it will create the vacuum on the, the engine and help you, the driver to, and boost the, the driver forces for breaking the vehicle. Where on the um, diesel engine, I have told you that it will be done on the va. Vacuum pump, you remember that. So also I have told you about, I have told you about the classification of brake system according to the transmission. We have seen a single circuit power brake system and dual circuit power brake system. It means that if you say single circuit power brake system, I have told you that uh, we have one circuit which we transmit the, the compressor there to the Part which will be need to be broken, do you remember? And if you say dual circuit, you have two different uh, transmission. Meaning that for those one which we use single circuit, meaning that if this that circuit has a, a, a problem, meaning that we will not be able to break a vehicle. But for those of that one which use dual circuit compressor, their brake system, I have told you that it will be able, if one if, uh, circuit fails, the other one will. Uh, work as the one, meaning that the, it will help the vehicle to be, the vehicle to be braked. You know, you remember that. So, also have told you about the classification of brake system according to the number of line in the vehicle, in the vehicle combination. When you remember the vehicle which use the, tra which have a tractor and the tray, you remember that. So, Meaning that sometimes we will transmit the compressor there from tractor to the trailer. You remember that tractor, it is where we have a vehicle. Uh, this, is, this is a tractor. Meaning that here we have, we have a trailer. Uh, 
if you say vehicle combination, it means that you have a tractor and you have, you remember that you have a trailer. So that if you use single line, it means that the line which will transmit the compressor there from tractor to the trailer, it will be one single line. It means that if that line fails, means that the break of trailer, it will not be possible. But if you use the DO line, Meaning that if one line has a problem, the other one will be able to transmit the compressor there to the trailer part of the vehicle. So I think that you remember all those, all those classifications. So that we are still on the same topic, the same learning unit. In, you remember that you are still on learning unit one, which is called Identify Pneumatic System. Yes? Dear student, I think that we remember all those. So that we are, you are on learning outcome two. You remember, because learning outcome, one, learning outcome one, we have seen about the description of pneumatic air, air property, yes? We have seen the definition of pneumatic, the composition of pneumatic means that the composition of air. We have said the, 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 the use of the, the air in, so as the property of so as of the, the property of pneumatic, yes? So now we are on learning outcome, learning outcome two, learning outcome, outcome two, which is differentiation, differentiation of, New pneumatic circuit. This is learning outcome that you are still learning, where we are differentiating the circuit which are being used in a pneumatic, in pneumatic system. The first circuit, do you remember? The first circuit that you have talked about, it was called First circuit call was called, it was a single circuit, power assisted brake system, low pressure with mechanical parking brake. You remember the component of the circuit. So I have told you that for well understanding those, all, of, all of those circuits, I have told you that, first of all, you have well understanding the basic circuit. We have seen how all the, all the components which compose the pneumatic circuit, but are totally different from others because it depend on the vehicle size, the vehicle size, or the vehicle systems on the vehicle systems while it is used depending on the, the pneumatic equipment. Yes? Dear student, do you still remember the pneumatic equipment that I have told you? I have seen that you have compressed the air supply, meaning that every vehicle, every commercial vehicle must have that, that equipment group because it will need to be, to generate, to transmit the compressed air in, in the pneumatic system. We have a service brake system as the pneumatic equipment group too. Service brake system, I have told you what does it mean. We have a parking brake system because those the free equipment group are a standard, a standard equipment because it, they are always available in every pneumatic circuit, yes? We still have a trailer control, pneumatic suspension and door control, meaning that the circuit or the pneumatic, uh, the commercial vehicles, we will have, we will need to use those equipment group for achieving the braking system depending on the size of the vehicle or the system that the vehicle will be used. That is the, that is the circuit one you have seen. Single circuit, power assisted brake system, low pressure with mechanical parking, with mechanical parking brake. So we have seen the circuit two, which is called the DO. Then we have no DO, we have DO circuit compressed air brake system, low pressure, we have also mechanical parking brake. So after that, do you remember that you have learned about the circuit three? We have talked about uh, uh, DO circuit, compressed air brake system, power brake system, low pressure, but with no linkage mechan no linkage parking brake, meaning that for that kind of circuit, we have not used, have not used uh, mechanical parking brake, we have used the no linkage power, 
no leakage parking, break. Those are the circuits you have run depending on the, the differentiation of pneumatic circuit. So we have also seen the circuit for, we have talked about, um, it was called the DO circuit, power system break system, but high pressure, we have also no leakage parking, parking break. I think that you will understand, you will remember those, those, those circuit, and they are the, the difference, the difference is have seen the difference depending on how the vehicle is constructed. Yes. So today we are going to learn another another circuit. Yes. We are going to learn another circuit, which is called the the topic for today. Topic. It is the circuit five. Circuit. Five, which is called it is DO circuit DO circuit compre compressed air air power. Black public system, public system, mm, but low pressure, yes, low pressure. With no. Linkage with no linkage, pneumatic suspension, pneumatic suspension, and door. Door control. Door control. That is the topic for today. So, at the end of this, top, this session that you are going to learn today, every learner will be able to, to scam the circuit of this, for circuit five years. It will be able to draw that circuit because you are going to learn together how you can scam this schematic diagram of circuit five. Uh, even if the learners will be able to understand the working principle even if the function of any component composing this, composing this circuit. So as to be able to know the component of pneumatic suspension. Do you know that this is then a new one comparing with the other circuit that you have seen? Even if you will know to understand the component of door control, yes, so that a runners will be able to understand how this works and the way they this circuit will be obtained on the vehicle that we see. So, this circuit, it is used on the buses. Do you know every student, do you know the buses? But for well understanding how this is it work, let us try to, to scheme together the schematic diagram of circuit, of circuit five. Yes? Let us clean because the circuit is too big somehow. So, do you know that when you are breeding the schematic diagram of this pneumatic circuit, we must consider, we must remember the circuit, the circuit that you have called the, the, the basic one, the basic circuit of pneumatic system, because every time we start with, start with, start with air compressor, yes? We must have air compressor, then after we must have pressure regulator. Do you remember that those circuits, there is a standard equipment. We, have, we must have a source, a source that we must have a control. We have a pressure regulator. We put this through to the atmosphere. We have uh, 
antifreeze pump. We have here an automatic antifreeze pump. Automatic antifreeze pump. Also have a control here. An automatic antifreeze pump. After automatic antifreeze pump, we must have must have a four circuit surface valve. Yes. So we have put here here. Yes. Must have air reservoir. With, with draining valve, yes. Air oil also, air reservoir. Air reservoir. Here, with Vorso. A draining, a draining valve, so that we have also another port. Dear student, I think that you are you are throwing how we are drawing or breathing this circuit, so. We have also drain valve. We have also drain. This is another air reservoir. So after this, let us try to to bleed also. A service break system by adding a service black valve here. Service black valve. Yes. Service black valve. After that, after after this, here we must have a relay valve. We must have a relay valve. A relay valve, yes. Yeah. We decide enders from the front axle. We had service brake will act. Because service brake to react on the front axle so as the rear axle. Yeah. The supply relay valve. Relay valve will get the control from control from point twenty-two like this. Yes. Then after this relay valve will supply the compressed the area to the rear to the rear axle. Right from the rear axle we have we must have a complex cylinders. Because these complex cylinders, it will act to, to function during service brake system, a parking brake system, and parking brake system. Yes, these complex cylinders have spring loaded here. Yes.
Yes. This service break can be break cylinders. So here uh, we have another connection. They must have. A parking brake. Parking brake valve, yes. Here you must have a relay valve so that Must have also a check of yes. So those are those components for parking brake system. Let us connect them. Yes. Yes. This is the connection of the controller. Parking brake system. So that do you see? Here we must also connect the pneumatic suspension component. If you are going to connect the pneumatic suspension components, you will take the to get the compressor there from port 24. Port 24. Port 24. Point two eight four. This is the head control, head control of valve. This head control of valve to control the pressure. To control the pressure in air spring below. Those are the air spring below, which will help us in pneumatic suspension, yes, in order to regulate the, the pressure or the body of the vehicle. Yes, and here. And here I must have the component, the component of door control, yes. Those component is composed by solenoid valve. It is composed by solenoid valve. This solenoid valve means you know that it must have Electrical puzzles. So, this one is the valve, it will supply the working cylinders, the working the 
working cylinder and supply so the emergency valve because sometimes this is a solenoid valve will miss the electrical current means that if they miss that kind of current means that the door will be needed to be opened so here it must have also another heat control valve uh, another heat control valve and here also must have also another heat control valve I've told you that this heat control valve will supply the pressure or the compressor there in air spring air spring below yes air spring below yes those are the component each composed this circuit so let us put the digital numbers here I must have zero as intake here I must have two as outlet here I must have one I must have put output one and output and output two I must have digital number three put to the put to the atmosphere here you have must have digital number four as a control in that here we might have one two it means that this is the inlet and the output must have one this is the port 20 port output one output two output is three output four i must have one Two. I must have one, two, one, two, one, two. Here I must have uh, twenty one, twenty one. I must have twenty two, eleven, twelve here. Yes. So I must have one, two, four as a control. Yes. So one, two, twenty one, twenty two, four, one, two. Yes. So here, let us try. To, rem to rename the co those the component by as by looking the operating principle of this of this circuit. So I've told you that this is air air reservoir air reservoir. Here you have pressure regulator. Pressure regulator. Have have antifreeze, antifreeze pump, antifreeze pump. Yes. So have four circuit surface valve. As you know, as the as basic in basic uh, circuit. So we have surface break valve. Service black, service black valve, service black valve. I have relay valve, relay valve, have a relay, a relay valve. So that here we have air reserve. air reserve. Air reserve, sorry, here is the air, air compressor, as you know. Air compressor. Air compressor. Those are drain, drain valve. 
Those are the drain valve. Meaning that you have four, you have four air, you have four air reservoir. So here we have uh, parking brake valve. Parking brake valve. Yes? Those parking brake valve, you know, that is here for controlling the parking, the parking of the, the vehicle. So here you have a relay valve. Relay valve, have check valve, shut off valve, shut off valve, shut off valve, have shut off valve. So you have working cylinder, cylinder, working cylinder. So here you have emergence, emergence valve. And solenoid. Solenoid. Solenoid valve. Solenoid valve. As you know, those are combi. Black. Cylinder. Combi black cylinders is this one. So have, here we have the other new component. This is height control control valve height control valve. Yes, this one is, is head control valve, head control valve, and this one which you control the pneumatic suspension. As I have told you, as I have told you, this one is called the air. Air below, air below cylinders. So, those components, as you see, those are have the component which is in you comparing with the circuit that you have la seen last year. As the those one from uh, pneumatic suspension, this one and this one, and the component of door of door control. So that I think that you were understanding the operating principle. The function is. The function of those components, air compressor, uh, generate the compressor, the air, the pressure regulator, comp, uh, generate the uh, control, the pressure in pneumatic circuit, in the cutoff position, in the cutting position. I think that you remember where, it, how does it work? We have antifreeze pump. This antifreeze pump, I have told you, it, it inject the antifreeze in pneumatic circuit so that uh, to prevent the the water, the, the, the air from freezing, yes? So let us talk about on this pneumatic suspension. A pneumatic suspension, it is therefore damping, damping the vehicle. Whenever the vehicle is on the uneven road condition, uneven uneven road condition, this air spring below, it will, uh, it will uh, damp the comfort of the vehicle, meaning that this, Head control valve, it will increase. It will increase the, the, the pressure in those air spring below so that the, if the pressure is increased, the vehicle will be up. Means that it will regret the distance between the vehicle body and the, the load, the load surface. I think you will understand how does it work. Means that if the load condition it is not good, the air spring, the head control valve, to increase the pressure, to increase the pressure in air spring below so that the vehicle body, yeah, so that the vehicle cannot be touched on the, the load. So, meaning that you must have them on the, on those, on the front and the rear of the vehicle so that, you know, this system is worked, this circuit, I've told you that it is only the buses. The student, I think that you have seen those vehicle which is used this system, uh, yes. So, here we have a door control. Dear student, do you know the bus is it called KBS? Have seen how the, the, its door is, is built, is opened. Means that you have a margins, solenoid valve, meaning that this solenoid valve, it, is, it, has electrical, it, it has electrical signal, yes? That electrical signal means that whenever the driver know, wants to, to open the door, I've told you that the door control in pneumatic system it is therefore opening and closing the door of the, the vehicle. Meaning that 
Well, if the driver push the button, it means that the switch, this Renault valve, it will react, convert electrical puzzles into matrix puzzles that the, these working cylinders to it either open or close depending on the position of the drive need, yes? But sometimes the electrical signals it will be, or the skin puzzles will be missed. It means that it must have a major, an emergency, an emergency valve, means that emergency valve it will be operated whenever uh, a driver, whenever a drive has, means that whenever the switch off, opening and closing the door has been, has been faded. So, as construction, as construction of this circuit, you see that it is composed with um, equipment group one, which is composed, it is called the compressed air supply, equipment group two, service brake system, equipment group three, parking brake system, because here we have parking brake system here, this one, which is composed by the service brake valve, rear valve, and shut off valve. Pneumatic suspension, you have to, that to regulate the comfort of the vehicle, how to damp the vehicle, the, depending on an even road, an even road is your face. And door control, opening and closing the door of the vehicle. Yes? So that, comparing with the circuit 4, uh, this one to use low pressure means that if it's low, low pressure, it uses the pressure which is below of 80 bars. bars. So, but it has pneumatic suspension so that the circuit 4 it doesn't have. It have a door control so that the circuit 4 it doesn't have. Meaning that the operating response of this one, the, in the service brake system, it will be operated as one as you have seen, yes? This parking brake system also it is the same one, but the additional component is, is for those of pneumatic suspension and, and door, and door con control. I know that, dear student, you will understand the operating principle of pneumatic circuit because it is, depend, it is depend on service brake system, parking brake system, secondary brake system, so as how the pneumatic suspension and the door control will be operated depending on the days of the driver while it is on the unload, uneven load, uneven load condition. So, we are still the student on the same learning unit, which is identify for pneumatic system. So that we are trying to understand how the differentiation of pneumatic or pneumatic circuit. Today, we will understand, we will understand this pneumatic circuit five, which is called dual circuit compressed the air power brake system, a low pressure with no linkage pneumatic parking brake, pneumatic suspension, door control. So you have, at, in, I think that you will understand how this circuit is look like. It's a component, the function of the component composing this pneumatic circuit five. Uh, how the pneumatic suspension is working, how door control is working. So, it is well understandable. So, the next session, we also talked about the circuit six, yes? So, this pneumatic system, we talked about the circuit six. So, I think it is the end of our session. Thank you for your kind attention. If you want another explanation, you have to contact me on my contact number, which are 07889331137. I can repeat again, 07889331137. Thank you for your kind attention. Mubye, urifuza gutegenyiriza umwana wawe ejo heza. Kana mu mashuri ya Apejerwa ariyo Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi hamwe na Emero Intwari. Muri Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi tubafitiye amashama kurikira. Karina Art cyangwa se bijyanye n'ubutetsi. Ari level 1, level 3, level 4 ndetse na level 5. Food and beverage services tubafitiye level 3, level 4 ndetse na level 5. Tubafitiye kandi accounting cyangwa se ibarura mari. Level 3, level 4 ndetse na level 5. Tubafitiye n'ubukanishi bw'amamodo 
Mwaka Mubjichiro wikurichi Auto Engine Technology Level 3 Auto Transmission and Control System Technology Level 4 Auto Mobile Transmission and Control System Technology Level 5 Tuba fitie nungu wati Mason Level ya gata tu Level ya kane Ndete na level ya gata Tuba fitie tourism Uwichera rujendo Level ya gata tu Ia kane ndete ni ya gata Tura mibuta kutu wa fitie Michi churu rusa anje Tonkome Tonkome Na homori emeru inwari Tuba fitia mashami yunga kumge akurichira Automotive technology Uwuka nishibga mamodoka Levo ya ambere Hairdressing Uwugiza na gutunga nyumusati Levo ya ambere Tailoring Uwudozi Levo ya ambere Masonry Uwugubati Levo ya ambere Muraya mashuri yombi Tuba fitia wari mubi nzovere Harimona waturuka hanze ijihugu Tuba fitia kandi na machumbi ya wakoga Ndete na ya wahungu Ama nye shuri batu wako ringendo shuri mujihugu Ndete no hanze ya Tuba humanya wako imenyerezu munga Mubigo vijanya ni Nibyo biga Tukore la kandi graduation Aba nye shuri wa soja masomo yago Aya mashura herede mungi wa ruhango Hafi ya gari Kwa windi viso wa nuro Nando hamagara kuri 0 karingu munan munan minongu tatu Gata anda tukaviri chumi ni chenda Changwa se 0 karingu kaviri kaviri Gata tu gata anu Gata anda tu gata anda tu Gata anda tu munani Na nando hamagara kandi Kuri 0 karingu munan munan minongu tatu Gata anda tu kaviri chumi na gata tu Changwa se 0 karingu munan makumya aviri Kaviri kaviri umunani kaviri gata anu Nga na dusura kuri website tishuri www.apejerwa.ac.rw Umurimu kuzgueneza Utumbaba tujiririjize